And then I turned on the news this morning. And there's the DNC, the Democratic National Committee. You know, we already know, we already have enough to fight with Donald Trump and these, and these enabler Republicans and corporate America and the banks and Wall Street. That's enough on our shoulders. But the fact that I'd have to wake up this morning and realize that we have to fight the corporate Democrats, the 1% of the Democratic Party who are thoroughly pissed that Bernie Sanders is now number one, that Bernie Sanders might win this primary season, that Bernie Sanders might be the next president of the United States. It's, oh, they're so upset. They're like asking each other, how the hell did this happen? Bernie wasn't supposed to win. And so today they announced in this Hail Mary pass of theirs to, to try to undo the people's movement. They are removing the rule to be on the debate stage where it says you have to have so many people donating to you. Uh, you know, otherwise, instead of 27 people on the stage, there'd be 227 people on the stage. So you had to, you had to show, you had to get, have a certain number of Americans that would give you a, a buck. That's all the rule said. Sir, but they would to show that there's support. And that's how they determined who would be on that debate stage. Today, they removed that rule because Mike Bloomberg, the billionaire, the Republican mayor of New York City, <laughs> they're backstage going, oh God, what's he going to say? <laughs> they removed it so that he could be in the next debate. He doesn't have to show he has any support amongst the American people. He can just buy his way onto the debate stage. And I got to tell you what's so disgusting about this. I watched the debate in Iowa here two weeks ago. The all, the all white debate. And the fact that the Democratic, the DNC, will not allow Cory Booker on that stage, will not allow Julian Castro on that stage, but they're going to allow Mike Bloomberg on the stage because he's got a billion dollars. I'm sorry. Those days are over. Those days are over. A week ago, I would have told you, I did tell you, Super Tuesday, I think we got this. Remember, we were talking about Whisper of a Dream. I think it might be over on Super Tuesday. So I'm not saying this for, on behalf of TYT or anything like that. We thought it was almost over. Bernie was going to win. Now it's not over. Now we're in a tie. And now we got absolute dig in warfare against the establishment. But we didn't start the war. They'll lie about it again. We didn't start the war. They started the war. They've been lying about Bernie Sanders. For God's sake, on Castro, I could give you a thousand examples. Bernie Sanders said the same exact thing as Obama. Everyone on TV is lying like, oh my God, what an outrageous thing Bernie Sanders said. Obama said the same thing. No, get, shut up. Don't cover it. Don't cover it. Don't cover it. Obama said the same thing. Is Obama pro Fidel Castro? Same exact thing. God damn it, tell the truth. God damn it, tell the truth. If you're not going to do it, we're going to do it, okay? And so you want to go to war? We'll go to war. And I'm going to tell you, Joe Biden, here's who's not safe those who voted to send us to invade the nation of Iraq. You did that, Joe Biden. You're not safe. Every time that we have run a Democrat who voted for the war, Kerry, Hillary, and now Biden, we've lost. We lose when we put these Democrats on the ballot in November. I'm tired of losing. Aren't you tired of losing? I want an end to this right now. 
We cannot let Biden win. Guys, not just on progressives versus establishment. This is so important. I need you to understand this. Biden is not gonna beat Trump. Biden is either near senile or actually senile. Watch any of the tapes. And Biden lies nonstop. He's gonna get caught. He's okay, the media is covering for him, but they're not gonna be able to cover when the Republicans come for him. And when Trump comes for him, he's not gonna beat Trump. The establishment candidate is less likely to beat Trump anyway. We just had 2016, the establishment candidate lost to a doofus like Trump. And now here we go, an establishment candidate that is far worse with mental his mental faculties under question. His record worse than Hillary Clinton's. He lies a thousand times more than Hillary Clinton did, right? And you're gonna run that guy against Trump and we're gonna lose to Trump again and maybe lose our democracy? Hell no, hell no. No, Bernie Sanders is gonna win this race. And I'm telling you right now, and it's not just, hey, we let's go fight, it's also a prediction. Biden is not capable of winning this and I'm, we're not doing any brokered convention where they give it to someone who didn't get less votes. Not going to happen, Bernie Sanders is gonna be the nominee, I'm telling you right now.